Anyway, speaking of Catholics versus uh, the culture, we have a very interesting situation in Chicago. Now, to be sure, this is not the first time uh, this situation has developed, but Daly Plaza, Daly Plaza is this you know, kind of big crossroads right smack in the heart of Chicago. And it's always a place because of where it's located. Millions of people walk by every day. It's a place where people go to make statements. It's kind of the, the crossroads of Chicago, if you want to think of it that way. Now, uh, uh, during particularly uh, you know, important religious holidays, Christmas and Easter, various religious groups set up their displays and that kind of thing. Uh, you know, celebrating you know, the, the birth of our blessed Lord or his resurrection or something like that. Uh, the Freedom From Religion Foundation uh, sort of caught on to this, and every time some kind of uh, wonderful symbol goes up or painting or representation or whatever it is of our blessed Lord, they come rolling up with all their atheist garbage and plop down right beside them. We have a situation going on right now in Chicago in Daly Plaza. The Thomas More uh, society, uh, headquartered in Chicago, uh, set up a beautiful uh, you know, a triduum and uh, a Divine Mercy Novena display, big, big, huge cross and big 10, 12 foot banner of our blessed Lord, the image of Divine Mercy. Well, the atheists couldn't stand for that. So no, they had to come rushing in with their freedom from religion garbage. And uh, as a matter of fact, there was some news that happened there last night uh, as, a, as a result of the little standoff there in Daly Plaza between these two competing uh, views of the world. Joining us now from Chicago is Jocelyn Floyd. Jocelyn is the special counsel for the Thomas More Society, and you can go to their webpage at thomasmoresociety.org. Jocelyn, how are you? Happy Holy Easter to you. And happy Holy Easter to you, too. I am guessing that you are not the atheist. <laughs> Let me think. No, <laughs> definitely not the atheist. <laughs> Fill us in. What what is going on there now? There was some vandalism or something. Uh, was that last night that that happened, or a day or two ago? What happened? It was either last night or this morning. When it was not there at the end of the day yesterday, and sometime this morning, it was discovered um, around the there's there's posters up uh, on the four corners of each. Um, display. So there's four around the four corners of the cross, and there's four around the image of Jesus on the banner. And the four around Jesus, uh, someone has gone and smashed in the glass. And there's a big gouge across each banner. The banner or the posters themselves are uh, slightly bent. Uh, we're not sure if it's additional uh, mutilation of the poster or just from the force of breaking the glass. And so on each corner of that display, the glass has just been shattered. Okay, so l l let me ask you, nobody's saying, uh, you know, you guys aren't maintaining that it is the Freedom From Religion Foundation people, just somebody uh, or, or some group or, you know, whatever went and smashed up the Jesus pictures, right? Right. We, we think it was definitely targeted at us. It was not random violence. It was not just a drunk being stupid. Um, Cause, because cause the atheist stuff didn't get damaged, did it? Well, and the stuff around the cross didn't get damaged. But when you look at the four that are damaged around the image of Jesus, it's the four corners. And they're each spread apart by about 8 to 10 feet. So it takes time to walk from each corner and hit them. If it were just a crazy drunk, um, just random violence, I could see one of them, maybe two of them, but not someone walking around and hitting all four of them. Also, at the base of the banner of Jesus, there are several holes gou gouged in the banner around his feet. Hmm. Hmm. Well, but no, we don't think it's the Freedom From Religion Foundation. You know, the the big thing that their concern is is this speech in the public square. Um, they think that religion should be absolutely divorced from government in every way, shape, or form. And in their mind, that means that you can't even speak of religion in the public square, which yeah. is absolutely and uh, antithetical to the, you know, the beliefs that we have as a society, the foundation of our constitution. You know, this public square, Daily Plaza, is the traditional public forum for people to express themselves. And religious people are included. They sure. can express their religion. Sure. And, let, and so, just, just so people are clear, you guys aren't being given government money. There's no taxes going your way. There's none of that, right? You, you've done everything you need to do. You've done all your due diligence. You applied for the permits. You got this. Blah, blah, blah. Everything is done by the book. It's your own thing, your own private expenditures. That's it. There's no government support of any whatsoever, except anybody can go there and make a display of whatever they want if they get the permit. Is that right? 
Exactly. It okay. is privately organized, privately funded. Um, the plaza has their their form to be able to uh, be permitted there because there's a limited amount of space. And depending on what other events are going on, they might control how big your display is, how long it can be up. Um, but they aren't allowed to deny you based on the content of your speech. They aren't allowed to say this is religious. It can't be here. Okay. So the Freedom From Religious Fo- Religion Foundation has done what actually is very, I respect what they're doing. I disagree completely with their view and what they're saying, but they are engaging in the debate. The whole purpose of freedom of speech is that when someone says something you don't like, more speech, react, debate, have a conversation. And so what they're doing is right and proper. Let me, so let, it, me let me ask you, is it a little, you know, from a religious standpoint, you know, viewpoint, it, it doesn't doesn't it strike you as being like a little bit in bad taste? Like wherever you go, they come running behind you and they put up their "We're atheists, we're atheists" sign. Uh, I mean, it just seems like a it, it's almost immature. I, I know they got the right to do it. No one's questioning that. It just seems it seems, and you know, they are kind of engaging in a bit of a you know, a, a, I, I guess they're ratcheting it up some sort of you know discussion in the public forum. But it does seem to be in bad taste on the time they've done it, which is this is the holiest week in the Christian year. And so, you know, we want to say, hey, here we are, everybody Christian, blah, 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 and then they come running over with their little we're atheist signs. You know, I, on a personal level, I agree with you. It does seem immature and kind of petty. You know, just let us have our holy day, and then you can have celebrations of other things. You know, you don't have, a, if you're an atheist, you don't have a God to celebrate, but you can celebrate whatever other idols are in your life. You know, have stuff for Arbor Day because you value nature, have stuff for Labor Day because you value human work. You know, they can do their other thing. But at the same time, the irony of this is because they are so dead set on speaking out against us and trying to, you know, undermine our message, (laughs) they bring so much more attention to it. We get more recognition. (laughs) People want, people are aware of it that wouldn't have been aware of it if there hadn't been some level of controversy. Yeah. It's... So the irony is, and I think this is it shows the power of how God works in mysterious ways. You know, he takes something immature and petty and, and it, it it's offensive to us at first and maybe even offensive to us at the end, but he uses it to bring glory to his name, to bring awareness to the gifts he has given us And I think that there are people out there who are going to think about this. They're going to notice it. They're going to have that little nugget of doubt or question that they might want to keep pursuing this, research it because these people believe it that much that they're going to put this giant display and go and have prayers there. And and that level of commitment is something that is it's intriguing to people. And so the controversy of these atheists trying to shut it down just means more people find out about it. Yeah, it is very funny, isn't it? Very quickly, we got about 30 seconds left. Uh, Jocelyn, can you tell me what is the Thomas More Society at thomasmoresociety.org? We are a not-for-profit law firm that fights to protect life, marriage, and religious liberty. Excellent. And uh, people can help you out, can't they? We accept donations of any size. We appreciate all donors, the small ones and the big ones. Um, They can do that through the webpage. And also, if you have a problem that is something that you're running into, threats to your religious liberty, contact us. Uh, We do work with, uh, we partner with council across the country, and we do work in all 50 states. Excellent, excellent. Well, uh, Jocelyn, thank you very, very much for your fine work that you do every day. And thank you to the Society for organizing this uh, uh, wonderful display in uh, Daly Plaza there in Chicago. Happy, holy, blessed Easter to you. Thank you. All right, thank you. God bless. Thanks for coming on.